How you doing everybody? Turkey Buzzard here. Hope you're having a good day. Well I went a little crazy this week. I thought it was going to take longer but I went overboard and I completed this entire build uh, this week. So I'm going to do the final tour for Sanctuary Hills and show you what I came up with. I used the overhead garage door for the gate because I like the size of it and I use one of the OR logic gates so that it could be open from either side. I put in a bus stop so that if they ever get the bus lines working again then Sanctuary Hills is ready to go. Our first stop on the tour will be Anna's Cafe. Over the holidays I mentioned the fact that I lost the use of my cabin in the woods mod. So what I did was I went in and deleted the entire mod and then I downloaded it again and I now have use of the mod again. However, the mod author redesigned the entire mod and that includes all the pieces that are in the mod. So everything that disappeared is still gone and I will have to rebuild it. But it's not a big deal. I can do that. And he did a really nice job redesigning the mod. The walls now, the log walls fit snug together. There's no more gaps where you can see outside. So he did a really nice job redesigning it. Thanks for your help. I anyway, know. this is Anna's Cafe. And it's not, you know, a big restaurant or anything. It's more like a little diner. But it doesn't need to be too big because we only have 28 settlers here. Most of them work at the hospital. But when they're not at work, a lot of them like to spend some of their time at the cafe. The mod that cleans up Sanctuary Hills leaves all of these houses completely empty. So you had to go through and furnish all these houses. And that meant putting in uh, sink, stove, refrigerator, counters, the furniture, rugs and curtains, the paintings, uh, all the bathroom fixtures, beds and dressers, lighting, the whole deal. So, you know, it was, it was very time consuming. Uh, other than my house, there are seven other houses in Sanctuary Hills, so... It was seven houses I had to go through and furnish. And I did them all top to bottom. And that includes the smoke coming out of the chimneys. This is the other gate. And it's like the main gate. However, this one can only be opened from the inside. This is the Colonial Tap House. And it's a small bar I built. I used the snap and build mod for it and I think it did a pretty nice job. Inside you'll notice furniture from the Unlocked Settlement Objects mod. That's a real nice mod that has a lot of different uh, items that you can use for your builds. And I will go through and list all these mods in the description because I may forget to list some of them during the video here. She has a small storeroom here for extra drinks or supplies. And she lives up over top of the bar. You'll notice that the roof pieces for this part of the build are all slanted. And it made it kind of weird to work with because, you know, it, it makes the walls around the outside different. But uh, the wood walls also come slanted, so they snap right into the roof itself. So, you know, it did a pretty good job. It just looks different. And I think it come out okay. As I said, I have 28 settlers, and uh, sometimes, uh, rather than going to the cafe, people come here to the bar, so... You know, between the cafe and the bar, we do a pretty good business. Yeah. 
And as I said, uh, the only house that comes partially furnished uh, is my house. And I wish it didn't because I really don't like this table and chairs. But there's not much I can do because I can't touch it. Uh, same with the counter, the couch, some of the other things. But it's not a big deal. I keep my power armor out here in the carport. And I really like that beware of dogs sign. I thought they looked pretty neat so I stuck that out here. This garage I don't really use for much. Uh, I put some workbenches out here and I also keep my water purification units in here. But other than that I don't really use it for much. And I built the Sanctuary Hills Community Church and I put the big monument from Unlocked Settlement Objects on top because it's hard to build a church that looks like a church. They don't really give you materials to do that so I figured that would help make it look more like a church and I don't think it did too awful bad. But I think it come out okay and the preacher uh, that's compliments of busy settlers rugs and it's got the church organ and the flying angel uh, statue the preacher doesn't have a lot of room upstairs to live in but it's only him living by himself so he doesn't need a whole lot of room it's kind of narrow but it works kind of feels like uh, a trailer or something you know as narrow as it is and he has a small bathroom again I want to mention the Elvin Blossoms items mod uh, the bathroom fixtures you know the toilet paper the mirror the soap dishes things like that really nice mod So I don't think the church came out too awful bad. And around the corner I got rid of the elm tree and I put a bandstand here. Uh, that came in the unlocked settlement objects mod and I really liked the looks of it so I decided to put that here. And of course this is the Boston General Hospital. I'm not going to take you inside because I did a video on that last week. If you missed it and would like to see the inside of the hospital, I will leave a link in the description so that you can see what the inside of the hospital looks like. I reserved this area for my provisioners. I thought it was a nice spot that pretty much uh, was built for them. So, and I do have a Brahmin. But they do a they do a pretty nice job staying in that area, so I'm happy about that. And the street lights, mailboxes, everything I had to put in here because as I said, uh, other than the houses themselves and the shrubs and whatever, you know, this this village is pretty much empty when you come here, so it was a lot of job, a lot of work, you know, uh, putting all this stuff together and furnishing these houses and and whatever. But I did come up with kind of a, a system for doing it so that it was a little quicker and easier. Uh, but I don't think it came out too awful bad. Uh, I know it's. Uh, definitely pre-war but I want to show you what it looks like at night so let's switch ahead to nighttime so here we are nighttime that was quick as I said I know that this is a pre-war build and most of my builds are pre-war as a matter of fact probably better than 75 percent of my builds are pre-war do occasionally do some more lore friendly type stuff but for the most part my builds are pretty much pre-war 
If you like uh, lore friendly builds, I would recommend that you check out SG Gaming. Uh, Scott does a lot of lore friendly type builds. He's an excellent builder. He does a lot of really nice builds. And he gives a lot of tips on how to put your builds together, uh, how to use some of the materials and the glitches and things like that. So if you're into the lore friendly stuff, check out SG Gaming. Uh, if you have a suggestion on something you'd like to see me build that's more pre-war, uh, drop a suggestion in the comments below. I'd be interested to uh, hear what people like to see, and uh, I always like a good challenge. And, uh, you know, if you have questions or comments, I'm always happy to respond to them. Um, if you like this video, uh, please hit that like button. Uh, it tells me that... I'm actually building something that people like to see. And as always, hit that subscribe button for more videos. That would help me out too. But I really want to thank you for watching. And I will see you again next week.